This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Keefe D's nephew has pretty much been labeled, you know, Orlando Anderson has been labeled as the guy who took out Tupac, right? That's the guy who Tupac got in a fight with that night. Well, you know, he told on himself. He's the one who gave all the information and basically alluded to that, the fact. So he's an accessory, right? And there's no statute of limitations in Nevada for murder. So Keefe D's about to go down, okay? The, the, the Las Vegas uh, homicide detec detectives and prosecutors determined Monday that they had enough information to proceed with a court-authorized search, and they took a bunch of stuff. You SWAT team came, went up his block in Vegas, got him. Um, he's It's done, bro, because he they're going to use those Vlad interviews, those interviews with... Um, who else did you do interviews with? It wasn't just Vlad. He did interviews with a lot of people. A lot. Especially that cop guy that used to work for Suge Knight. He did interviews with him, too. Uh, dialogue. Did interviews with him. You know, it's like, there's just so much evidence. And they can use all that in court. You know, so it's like, this guy's over. Keefe D. How old is he? Hope he had a good life. Keefe D. H. He's almost 80. So I guess they'll just solve this case right here and uh, put him in jail for the remainder of his life. This is King Von putting the beats on one of his apps. The, a lot of footage. This is all to promote his album. This, there's no way this stuff is just coming out now. They've been holding on to it. Uh, this guy interviewed Dame Dash. Damn, what was his name? Let me, let me give him credit because it was a good... And you know what? Now I can't find it. <sighs> I hate it when that happens. I'll give him credit in the next video because I, I can't I can't find it. But uh, he interviewed Dame Dash. Wait a minute. I think I got it right here. Oh, oh I know where I got it from. Right here. Dame Dash basically said that Tupac's... I'm, I'm sorry, not Tupac. Jay-Z's response to Ether was trash. Uh, Jay-Z response, Ether, trash, uh, Dame Dash, Dame Dash, let me see if I can pull it up, because that was good, and uh, he said he, you know, then, you know, Dame Dash always goes on to say he was a sellout, and a bunch of other stuff, but I'm going to tell you, man, he's, he put it all on Irv Gotti, he said Irv Gotti got involved, uh, and started helping out Jay-Z to respond to Nas, which is funny because after that, I don't know why people still mess with Irv Gotti. Irv Gotti was playing both sides of the fence on that because he was still cool with Nas and tried to sign Nas after that, remember? When did Irv Gotti try to sign Nas? Irv Gotti tried to sign Nas. What year was that? What year was that? It had to be 02. In what year? Oh, if I could find when that song came out, it was a, it was a remix with Nas on it. Or God, it was supposed to appear on Jay Z's. Let's just say like 02. It was it was all within the same three years, you know. Uh, and Irv Gotti said his biggest mistake was trying to sign Nas because he was picking the other side. Yeah, because you're a flip-flopper, you know? Uh, Dame Dash interview. I wish I could find that interview. That was good. The, I, I just cruised by it a second ago, and I, I wanted to play it again for when he said, Yo, you know, he... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, okay. So uh, this is on the Fed Up podcast. Okay, so make sure you go check that out. But he said, he said Jay Z's response was terrible, and uh, Nas's ether was way better. It smoked him, and uh, Irv Gotti messed up the the response. Pinky doll, this girl is this is the girl that goes yes, yes, ice cream, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you, you can't make this up. They didn't play the sound on this one. Man, it was so, it's so crazy how this girl does that. She'll, 
she'll respond to everybody going like, yes, yes, ice cream. <laughs> she they, she does this for a living. I guess she's a ex sex worker or something. Uh, but she lies about her age. She says she's only like 19, but she's really 27. And uh, she's getting a lot of backlash on <laughs> on everything. Was it is it Pinky Dolls? I hope this is it. I really wanted to play that. She goes like ice cream, yes, so good. And then she barks like a dog. She does everything just to get some anything to get some cash. Anyway, she's been exposed. Uh, she's actually 27. I mean, but you know, if it made me a lot of money, I'd do it too. Like Timberland and everybody goes in there. Timberland watches her all the time. This is little baby seafood restaurant. It's already getting trashed online by people. They say the fish is subpar, crinkle fries. They cut the fish in half and try to hide it. Uh, they say you only get a few shrimp with a lobster tail. This is lobster. So this woman got lobster tail and six shrimp. $25 is a good price, though, for a, a fried lobster tail. Most places will tax you for that. And two pieces of catfish for $10. I don't know what this person's complaining about, honestly. Because a, a good catfish plate somewhere is like 15 bucks. You know, fried catfish. Little baby's trying to keep reasonable prices, but you're not going to get the best cooks at that price because you're not going to be able to pay them 25 to 30, you know, 30 bucks an hour. You know, you're going to get cooks that are like 15 to $20 an hour and it's not going to be as good. So what, you know, little bit, little baby, uh, tried to look to me, little baby tried to look out with the pricing and make it affordable for people. And you know, it is what it is. Cause like, let's see, juicy crab. That's what everybody likes in the South. They juicy crab, right? Juicy crab menu. Let's see what the menus. Let's see if the prices are on here. So if you get like a, let's see, what's this right here? Combo twelve. Snow crab, shrimp, and one lobster tail. Three eggs, one corn, a potato. It's like a boil. How much is that? Let's see. Order now. Let's say it's in the Stell. Uh, they won't give you the price. Jesus. Okay. I'm sorry. Internet's just delivery available. Uh, start my order. Okay. So combo number 12. Boom. $51. Okay. You get, fi you get three eggs, which is cheap, a lobster tail. A half a pound of shrimp with no head and some crab for 50 bucks. Actually, it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> uh, and then what are they doing here? This is $25. So lobster tail and shrimp and then catfish. Still better price, you know, because like you're still getting a potato and everything because this comes with, uh, you know, fries and all that. Eh, I think little baby's looking out. Maybe too much. You know, I think he should raise his prices a little bit. People, people are so ungrateful for a fried lobster too. Look at them. Anyways, <laughs> this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.